So now let's prove this fact uh, that in a simple field extension there exists only finitely many intermediate fields. So more precisely, suppose k is a field and we have a simple extension, so of the form k of alpha, an algebraic extension. Then the statement is that there are all only finitely many fields between k and l. So finitely many fields e between L and K. So the idea how to prove uh, this is the following. Let me denote with uh, F uh, the minimal polynomial of alpha, so the polynomial with coefficients in K, K of X be the minimal polynomial. So in particular, monic polynomial. And the idea is to show that we can always write such an extension E as um, the extension given by K, adding the coefficients of a fixed polynomial which divides F. So let me write this down. So we show, we will show that we can, if we have such an intermediate field, we can write it in the following form, say b of 0 being k or bn for some uh, coefficients. So the bj's are coefficients of a monic polynomial say uh, g in l coefficients of l uh, which divides And of course, um, well, then there are finitely many of such polynomials and hence uh, finitely many of such uh, coefficients, uh, for example, by the fact that L of X is a mu UFD. So F, uh, the polynomial F, which of course can be seen also as a polynomial in L of X, will admit uh, finitely many uh, factors. So of course f is reducible with coefficients in k, but when we put it in L of x it will not be irreducible, but then we'll have finitely many factors. And so uh, if we prove these, that E is such, it's generated by these coefficients, then we just prove that there are finitely many possibilities for such intermediate extensions. So let's start. Uh, we get, we take our uh, intermediate field E. We remind ourselves that L is nothing else but K of extended by alpha. So first we observe that, uh, well, of course, uh, the extension L over E is uh, finite since. Al L over K is, uh, is finite, so it's a finite extension and therefore algebraic.
So we can consider we can um, consider alpha as a uh, as an element over e, and uh, it will be algebraic, and therefore it will admit a minimal polynomial. So we let we denote by g the polynomial. Uh, so g in with coefficients in e be the minimal polynomial of alpha over e. So in particular, it's monic. So, yeah, relative to the extension L over E. So let's write it explicitly as polynomial, uh, say coefficients B of zero, uh, sorry, Bi x power i with i from zero to some degree n. So we are supposing that uh, the degree of L over E is some number finite N. Now we consider the extension, so E extended by this, uh, so, sorry, K, uh, yeah, the ground field K extended by the coefficients of this polynomial. So we consider, say, E prime the extension of k by b0 bn and my claim is that this is already e so in other words that we can think of e as uh, generated by these uh, these coefficients so, before proving these, let's just uh, assume it for a second so that we can go to the conclusion of what we want to prove. Uh, namely, since, so what is the situation here? We have K, E, and L, and of course uh, we have inclusions here also when we pass to the rings of polynomials. Now we have our minimal polynomial over k living here, f. g is a minimal polynomial of alpha inside uh, the ring e of x. And here it is minimal. So here g is minimal. Of course, f will not be anymore irreducible as viewed is in e of x and uh, g is the minimum polynomial has alpha as a root there and therefore g divides g divides f inside this ring here and necessarily therefore also in if we view everything inside l of x so given this given that we've, we've proven uh, this we have that G divides F in L of X. And therefore, by using the claim at this point, we have that if E is, can be written as this extension with these coefficients coming from a polynomial, fixed polynomial, which we can view directly in L, which divides F. And there are finitely many possibilities. So let's move on and prove this claim. Proof of the claimed fact that uh, E is equal to E prime. So of obviously uh, we have for free, so to speak, that E prime is in E. Uh, 
since uh, obviously this this coefficient so we remind ourselves that these these coefficients bj are taken by a polynomial with coefficient e e and then of course uh, uh, e prime is e extended uh, k extended by these coefficients So clearly E prime is a subfield of E. So this is our starting point and we want to use, we want to show equality here. So we, so we actually want to show, so one way is to show that uh, as extensions, uh, we have an extension of degree one and therefore they are, they are equal or if you want as vector spaces so we show that uh, e prime uh, yeah e over e prime is one of course equivalently uh, we could just uh, see e prime which sits inside e inside l so our um, well what we know is that is is some degree n and we what we want to show here in red is that this extension has degree one and so of course by the degree uh, theorem or formula we equivalently can just show that this uh, bigger extension is degree n and then we get to the same conclusion so this is what we're going to do so First, we note, we observe, uh, first of all, that uh, the, if we extend E prime by alpha, E prime sits inside E, and therefore this extension will sit inside E extended by alpha, which of course is equal to L, but at the same time, K sits inside E prime, since E prime is an extension of K, and therefore K extended by alpha, which is L, the definition of L, sits inside uh, E prime extended by alpha. So from these two, we can already see that E L is uh, written, can be written as E prime extended by alpha. And we, what we want to show is that the degree of L over E prime is, uh, well, what I want to show is that this is equal to, to M. So let's inquire about this degree. And now the observation here, if you want another claim, is that uh, the polynomial G, well, G is a polynomial in E with coefficients in E, but we can view it as a polynomial over e prime and g is also minimal over e prime for alpha so it's the minimal polynomial of alpha over e prime because obviously g of alpha is equal to zero and uh, well g is uh, irreducible so says g must be irreducible over e prime since because e prime is a uh, subfield of e then ir irreducible over e prime would imply reducible over e so g is irreducible over e prime and therefore it is the minimum polynomial and therefore we can conclude that the degree of um, L over e prime is the degree of G which is L. So this concludes the proof of the claim and therefore of our argument that shows that there are only finitely many uh, intermediate fields.